going to show you how to incorporate pebbles into your paving or even do an entire area just of pebble paving. It's fun, it's different and anybody can do it. So first up is that we need to remove this one paver that we've got here. go out it comes okay now we've already got this on some river sand over here so Garth what's the first step the first step is to remove the existing um, gany sand that we have here okay let's get it out great job Garth now what we've done here is we've just removed it to about 50 millimeters that's five centimeters that's the depth that we've worked on now in cases where you have existing paving it might be a bit more difficult that you've put into concrete so it always is better to plan this way ahead of time but here where we've just put the, the paving on directly onto river sand it is much easier to work with okay let's do the mixture Garth based on what we're doing here what kind of ratio would you recommend well I recommend four buckets river sand to one bucket of cement Okay, it's not a very strong mix, just not like we're going to be building foundations yeah, on top right. of this. And, okay, well here we've got some fine river sand, so let's get that measured out. And it always is easier working in smaller quantities to start off with. Yeah. Alrighty, there we go. Okay, put that all in, and now we're going to mix it all together. And we're wanting just a damp mixture here, not a wet mixture. You can see now that the river sand and the cement has really been well mixed in, and that's the consistency that we want, um, all well mixed. And now what we're going to do is just add a little bit of water just to dampen the mixture. Remember, we don't want a slushy mixture here. We literally just want to dampen the river sand to form a base for the pebbles. Okay, you'll notice now that it's really fine and crumbly, but it's not sloppy. I can still make little balls with the concrete mixture because we've just wet it lightly. And I think this should be good enough to go, Garth. That's right, Tanya. Okay, let's get it into the hole. This is going to be the base of our pebble paving. And what we're going to do is put a bit of that into the hole that we've opened up. That should be enough now, Garth. Next step. Next, yeah. Next step, we've got to just compact it a bit. Okay. And we're just using a plastic float for this. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you could always use a piece of plank if you had. You didn't have one of these guys. Yeah, you don't have to go out and buy a float. The next thing is, <clears throat> we must place these pebbles on top of this again here. Okay, so we're just going to gently just position them. We don't need to push them too far into the mixture, but really just get the side that you choose and that you want to be facing upwards. And you know, some of the pebbles might be a bit too thin, so just work around with them. There's, there's really no right or wrong way, because at the end of the day, it's all going to look pretty even once you've got all your pebbles here. But if you find one that you really don't like that's been broken off, well then trash it, get rid of it. But you can really work and nothing is wrong. Pebbles are all in place. The next step that we're going to do is we're just going to clean off the edges over here with the bits that we've had around. And then we're just going to take a big block of wood and a rubber mallet, place that on top of the pebbles and just give it a bit of a knock. And all this does is it ensures that all your pebbles are at the same level um, because it's pretty difficult to get them all in at the same level and it just embeds them a bit further into the mixture. So it's just that, making sure that they push down nicely. There we go. 
and you'll feel those ones that are a bit higher giving way to you as you knock them in place. Alrighty, our pebbles are nice and snug, and Garth has now told me that the next step is to mix a slurry, which we're going to pour on top of this. Now, Garth, what is a slurry? A slurry is just cement mixed with water. Okay, and how runny does it have to be? It must be like yogurt. Okay, all right. Well, let's get going on that. And now we use the stirring gadget that you got us. And we're just going to mix it all in, hey, Garth? Now what we have to do is just pour it on, Garth. That's it, turn it. Ooh, yummy. Look at that. See, it's nice and smooth. I'm just going to work it in to some of the areas just with the brush here. Right, we've made sure that everything is in place and the pebbles have been covered nicely with the slurry, the yogurt mixture. Now we're going to leave it for about an hour just to settle in and thereafter we're then going to just skim it off with a fine hose pipe. But before we do that and before we go away, just make sure that on your existing paving that you have wiped away all the excess cement because cement, if left like this, can actually stain your existing paving. So it is important that you do just do your cleanup now rather than have to worry about it a bit later. There we go, the pavers are all nice and clean. We're gonna leave this for about an hour and then come back and wash it off. And I think that gives us enough time to go and have a cup of tea. So while we were away, I think some little munchkins, namely Chloe, was running over the wet cement. And oh, we have evidence, but the good news is that we are going to be washing it off, so we don't need to stress about that too much. Now, all we've got is a fine nozzle, fine spray, and we're going to be washing it off. And this is a bit of a messy job, um, but never stress. Fine spray, making sure that it's doing its job over here, and then onto the paving, and there you go. Watch how it all just gets washed off. There we go, and we're starting to reveal the pebble paving. Already, you can see it coming alive. Okay, once you've done that, what you might need to do, because you don't want to remove too much of the cement base that you've got here, is where it really is sticking, you can just rub it off with your fingers and use a sponge and a bucket just to dab off the rest of the liquid that's over here, because you don't really want that liquid to sit on your pebble paving. So I'm just going to use the sponge over here just to dab up this excess moisture and just to clean off the rest of the pebbles. Final bits, just to use a sponge, and you can clear off the pebbles. You don't really need to do that because as you are cleaning your paving and watering around, the little bits of excess cement that have been left on it will simply just wash off. And it's as easy as that. Pebble paving in the garden, wherever you want, and look how cool it looks. <laughs>